Welcome to the Lee Mack Show. Please welcome this week's special musical guest. It's Alison Moye. Looking from a window above, it's like story of love. Can you hear me? Came back only yesterday. I'm moving farther away. Won't you near me? All I needed was the love you gave All I needed for another day And all I ever knew Only you All I needed was the love you gave All I needed for another day And all I ever knew only you <laughs> Backed of course by the brilliant Steve Brown. So what have you been up to this week, Steve? Nothing. I never do anything. Never see anyone, never go anywhere. That was the bloody point. Steve Brown, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> so, what a great audience we've got tonight. What a wonderful crowd. Three very attractive ladies at the front. Hello. Hello. All right. <laughs> What's your name, madam? Julia. Julia. Can I ask you a personal question? How many men have you had sex with? <laughs> you weren't expecting that, were you? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not very good at light-hearted banter. Sure, you don't have to answer that question. Um, uh, I've, had, uh, I've had seven, roughly. And about... Uh, <laughs> and about twelve, sensitively. <laughs> Doesn't bother me how many partners you've had. You know, do you know what I'll call a woman if she sleeps around? No, that's it. I'm just saying, do you know what? I'll call a woman if she sleeps around. <laughs> Where are you from, Julie? Uh, You're from London. You haven't got a very strong London accent, have you? My favourite accent at the moment. I love, I love the Irish accent. Isn't it great? Any Irish people in tonight? Yeah. yeah, it's a bit menacing, that voice. What was that from? <laughs> was that actually someone speaking, or was that someone trying to get a whale back into the Thames? <laughs> Where about St. Ireland are you from? I'm from Northern Ireland. Oh, we'll leave that then. <laughs> um... <laughs> Here's one for you. How many Protestants does it take to change a light bulb? One, they're brilliant. But how many Catholics does it take to change a light bulb? One, they're brilliant. Two, hello, please don't hurt me. <laughs> I am. Um, no, I love the Irish accent. It's fantastic. There's nothing better than an Irish lilt, is there? And by that, I mean, you know, the accent. I don't mean the drink with the totally tropical taste of Guinness and potatoes. Um, I see that. I love doing gigs in Ireland. It's probably the friendliest place in the world to do gigs because I'm used to living in London now. Actually, I'm saying it's friendly. I actually got mugged in Limerick. That's obviously that's a place, obviously, not the style. I don't, mean, I don't mean someone came up to me and went, Hello, my name is Pete. I'm standing in the street. Don't be flash. Give me your cash. I'll kick you in the teeth. No, no, no. <laughs> now, please welcome, fresh from her West End run, though after a mile or so, she gave up and got a cab. It's my sidekick, Angela McHale! What do you mean, sidekick? Nothing wrong with being a sidekick. Where would Richard be without Judy? Judy is not Richard's sidekick. All right, mascot. <laughs> I'm not your mascot. In fact, I think we need to clarify this whole double act thing. We need to work on the relationship. What are you on about? Well, in all great double acts, one of them is always angry with the other one for being stupid. You can be the stupid one. <laughs> all right, and you can be the one with the short, fat, hairy legs. <laughs> all right, I'll go first. So, Lee, who have we got on the show today? I can't remember! What show? Where am I? You're supposed to be a bit thick, not in a care home. You're supposed to be endearingly stupid but eager to please. I am endlessly patient but exasperated by your folly, OK? OK, got it. So do you want to know who we've got on the show? Yes, please. Who have we got on the show? No one! Why not? I forgot to book them! 
<laughs> what are you on about? Oh, come on. It was an endearingly stupid mistake to make, but try not to be too exasperated by my folly. <laughs> I think we may have to work on the catchphrases as well. Well, what do you propose we do without any guests? I'm just going to sit here in my own poo. <laughs> Let's try again. Who have we got on the show? Alison Moyet, but I've booked her for next year. <laughs> huh, what an idiot! Well, that's not going to work, is it? All right, I've booked her for today, but she's upside down. <laughs> upside down? She's upside down. I made a small and endearing mistake and booked her to appear upside down. What, physically upside down? Yes, I don't know how it happened. I got her agent on the phone, there was a bit of a negotiation, and I panicked, and the next thing I knew, bang, I booked her upside down. <laughs> Maybe you should just bring on the first guest. Ladies and gentlemen, he may not be the right way up, but that's not his fault. It's mine. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Please welcome Mark Watson. Yeah. I'm in a quite cantankerous mood. I'm, um, my, um, <laughs> my phone company. I've got a, uh, my phone company are really annoying. I, I can't, of course, mention them on air. Um, we'll call them O3. <laughs> <laughs> He rang me. He rang me at eight o'clock this morning. Would you like an upgrade? You're entitled to a free... Now, I've got a rubbish phone. Um, you can't see this on the radio, but it's a terrible... <laughs> really awful. You can't do predictive texting. It can't do, you know, phone calls. It's a, it is a very... Uh, it's a very basic phone, but I like it. I'm used to it. And every week, my phone company rings me up. Oh, would you like an upgrade? No, I just want my phone. Just normal. No, no, get an upgrade. Get a free upgrade. One day, I'll be walking my dog and I'll take it away. Here's a wolf instead. There you are. <laughs> Hey, well, that's an upgrade. Uh, oh, he's just torn half my leg off. Yeah, that's a special feature. Uh, oh. Honestly, I've got no time for these gizmos in my life. You know, I hate gizmos, me. But people like people with their iPods. Oh, I've got an iPod. Oh, I'm so clever. I can play all my songs in a random order. So what? Just get drunk. You can do anything in a random order. Right? <laughs> I was drunk the other night, washed my hands, then went to the toilet. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, clever. <laughs> I, the trouble is, these gizmos do allow people to behave very rudely. I was on a train, and this guy was watching a film. No headphones, just literally on his laptop. Just a film, just watching it. You know, there was no, no pretend. Uh, it's not a cinema, it's a train. You can easily tell if there's stations, it's a train, right? <laughs> It's not a cinema. Right, me and my wife, I've got a wife, which is uh, remarkable, but it's a different story. Right, um... <laughs> I'm, I'm, uh, just, it's just great. <laughs> uh, my wife and I went to see this film, Capote, right? Who's seen it? Yes, quite a few. It's about Truman Capote. The poster says Capote. Underneath it says Philip Seymour Hoffman plays Capote. He won an Oscar, so it was all over the news. His portrayal of Capote has made the history. Capote this, Capote that. You watch the film, there's the opening credits. The title comes up, Capote. And there's a caption, it's the 1950s. Truman Capote's doing this, right? First scene, on he comes onto the screen. The guy behind me says, who's that? <laughs> Oh dear. Also, I tell you what I say I hate in a cinema, when people go, what's he been in? What's he been in? People are obsessed with what people have been in. You know, so you can watch a film, a guy is dangling by his testicles from a cliff face or something. You know, swinging maybe by a single pubic hair between life and death. <laughs> and then just at the crucial moments, the guy behind you will go, oh, what's he been in? <laughs> Who cares what he's been in? He's now dangling by his testicles. <laughs> Can't you enjoy the present rather than the past the whole time? It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, anyway, um, enough about my uh, shitty life. Let's, um... Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, I'd better say a bit at the end, just so they can edit it, and it makes it sound like there's been a seamless cacophony of laughter. Well, you've laughed non-stop. Now, um... <laughs> and now I'm going to hand back to Lee. Thank you very much. What's your, what's your name? You've been here before, haven't you? What's your name, young man? Graham. Graham. How you doing, Graham? How old are you? Fourteen. Fourteen. And, and what's, what do you study? Uh, what's the subjects that you're studying? Um, all, of them. all of them. Do you study Spanish underwear? <laughs> no, you don't, do you? So a bit less of the mouth and tell me what you study. <laughs> I study them all, eh, yeah? You've been to the University of Life, I don't think you have, have you? Yeah? <laughs> you ever had a girlfriend leave you in the Sahara Desert? Three-week camping trip. You've not learned anything, son. <laughs> Camel milk for three and a half weeks. It's horrible. Sorry, I had a flashback. 